Hey everybody and welcome into today's video. So today is a very quick handy dandy guide to get engravings like this. So if you're looking to get five free engravings, become a bit of a giga chad and lost dark. I know it can be a bit confusing, all the maths and etc. in it. I've actually got a real handy dandy guide for you today. But if you want to get something like this, um, just bear in mind these names here. This is on Russian server because our server is down at the moment. So it's like Igniter, Grudge, Curse Style. This one's all out attack and precise dagger. If you want to get something like this, it can be a bit confusing with what to get because obviously relic accessories have now come out. And do you need legendary books? Do you not need legendary books? So we'll go over the guide that I've got and I'll go through, for example, how you'd be able to get something like this and what you need to look out for. So here's the guide and this here, I'll just go through it all quickly. You've got like engravings across the top here and then you can type in and edit whatever you want from, from here. You've got um, six engravings. You can use this for like later on, but if you're just using like the first five here, you've got your stone, necklace, earrings, rings, books, and then the total number of nodes. And obviously remember, you need to get 15 nodes to be able to get an engraving to level three any of the negatives that you have and then at the end here you can put in your stats to be able to see what the outcome of stats are so you can kind of figure out what your build is going to look like before you like buy accessories if you go in favor of them and towards the end of this video i'll give you a tip on how i actually go about sorting this because i don't for example buy one relic accessory and then in two weeks time buy another one i do everything all in one go so i know exactly how much i'm spending but i'll give you a tip for that at the end but anyway with this essentially what all you got to do guys like if i just put a number in obviously it just edits um the total down the bottom so to get something like five free which is what this is here obviously you can go one to five all 15 nodes then what you should do to start with is get yourself a for example seven seven stone with having at least one of your books here at legendary so that's just something to give you a bit of a tip straight off the bat if you're using relic accessories and all of these are free five which i remember relic accessories can either be a free free a free four or like a free five they don't go five five they just go to like a five and a three is your max so to be able to get five free of your new engraving so five engravings all free you're going to need to have a stone at at least seven seven and you're also going to need to have um at least one book at legendary so you get 12 nodes from that because this is capped out this is absolutely capped out the necklace we've got a free five earring free five another earring free five the ring free five and the, the second ring for free five and this all in total obviously will give you that um free five engravings so very handy i don't really think i need to explain this too much more obviously just get yourself a stone start there see if you can craft yourself a seven seven or like a seven eight or whatever obviously if you can get something really really nice that would be amazing or even like a nine five you can do this with a nine five as well so if you get something like that that's absolutely amazing um but then just start filling this out and you'll be able to see where you are so yeah, link for that will be down in the description below so you can get my calculator there. But remember as well, like if you don't have legendary books yet, but you want to get a decent setup, you could, for example, just have 9.9 from your books instead of 9.12 with no legendary. Um, and then you could go for like Adrenaline 2, for example. So you could go Igniter, Grudge, Curse Doll, another engraving, and then um adrenaline too because remember adrenaline is still a good engraving even at level one whereas grudge for example curse doll for example you always want to have those maxed out at level three so you could do something like that if you don't yet have legendary books if not maybe save up for them and grab them if you're looking to get a five five a five three setup sorry so my big tip then um how i kind of do it um to get my setup is i like to go through and favorite accessories so that i've got everything lined up so i'll go through the um i'll go through the marketplace and you know i'll make sure i get a stone set up first that's the first thing i do get a stone set up get that cut and then if i go here and i go this is on russia obviously so it's saying artifact but i'll go through and i'll look for things that i need so remember agility here is swiftness so if i needed this for example you just hit the favorite 
And then if I needed like say this earring and I needed two rings um, and then I needed a necklace. So let's just say this was what I needed. Going into here, um, you can see like how much it's going to cost you. You can figure out all of that. Obviously, remember every relic accessory also cost 25 peons to buy, which is crazy expensive. I know but that it is what it is. So I get it all set up. I normally end up favoriting like quite a few. And then I just have to I, I kind of whittle it down in terms of prices because I'll look like, do I need um, like a grudge five and a cursed doll free earring or can i do it maybe cheaper on a ring and i'll go through the marketplace and i it, this can take a lot of time when i've set this up in the past it's taken me like half a day to go through the marketplace and figure everything out getting the cheapest way to get my setup because you might find with just what the items are in the marketplace that if you're trying to get for example grudge five on earrings all the earrings are super super expensive um on that day but then it if you go for the rings, they might be cheaper that day. And then like cursed doll earrings might be cheaper that day. So have a little look, get yourself set up and see what is the kind of cheapest way you can do it. Um, where you're still having like good quality. And remember, quality on your necklace is the most important. But obviously these get crazy expensive. I'm aware of that. But the stats that you get from a necklace are way higher than what you get from a ring. So just bear all that in mind. That's what I do. Get yourself your book sorted, cut a stone. And then once you've got the stone, if you get something like a nine five or a nine six or a seven seven or something, then absolutely fantastic. Congratulations on that. And then it's just trying to get the relic accessories all together for it. So really hope this was helpful. Remember all the links down below. You can catch me live at twitch.tv forward slash Bentley Gaming TV. Um, and don't forget to give it a like, comment if it was helpful and consider subscribing. And until the next one, guys, really appreciate you, and I'll see you very soon. Cheers, em.